High-resolution, geo-referenced digital imagery brings a lot of value to one's operation. In regards to field boundary collection, it can save days of work from not having to go physically visit the field and collect the boundary. Beyond boundary collection, promising advancements have been made with the use of in-season imagery to determine crop growth and vigor throughout the season, but we will address those options in other tutorials. Depending on where your operation is located, different imagery options will be available. For example, if we jump over to Arthur, Illinois, we are given the options of Bing imagery, National NAEP imagery, and USGS DOQs. Remember that the field boundaries within your Summit account appear in blue, and if you want to identify a boundary, click on the Identify feature and then click on the boundary of interest. A window will appear identifying the grower farm field. If we jump over to a field in Iowa, additional options now appear in our imagery list. Besides the NAEP and DOQ imagery, we have options for multiple years of Iowa NAEP imagery. Multiple years of imagery is ideal because the latest imagery will usually have a higher resolution, making it easier to accurately digitize the field boundary. Having multiple years of imagery sometimes helps when identifying and digitizing such things as infield waterways. Such features can be masked or be distinct depending on what point in the season the imagery was taken. For example, it appears we have some sort of drainage cutting across this field. If we go back one year to the 2008 imagery, the area becomes more distinct. If we wanted to remove this from being a cultivated area, it might be better to digitize from the 2008 map. As more digital imagery options become available and updated, they will appear in Summit's imagery option list.